Hi, tweens. Welcome back to Tween Scene Online for Summer 2020. Last week, we decorated squishy stars in patriotic colors. I hope you enjoyed that craft. This week, we're going to be creating Japanese side sewn notebooks. There's two style variations, and you will uh, learn how to do both. In your kit, you will have received uh, some colorful paper and some plain notebook paper that has been pre-cut and hole punched. You'll also receive about 36 inches of jelly string. It should go with your colorful paper covers and about four beads. All right, so the two variation types come at the end. They're both going to be side sewn like that. Uh, one will be without beads and the other will be with the beads. And you can choose what to do and I'll show you how to create both of them at the end. To start with, you want to make sure that your paper is all lined up together, nice and neat, and that the holes are nice and clear. Then you're going to take your jelly string, make sure there's no knots in it, and straighten it out. It'll be a little kinked up from being in the bag and uh, in the folded thing that I received it in. All right, to start, you're going to come through the back of the bottom hole, bring it all the way through leaving about four to five inches of string at the bottom. Just like that. Now, making sure that it lays flat, you're going to go up to the second from bottom hole and come through the front and pull the string out through the back. This first part will just be like lacing a shoe, or any other project. So make sure your string's lying flat. Take the end, come up from the back to your next hole, the second from the top. Bring it forward. Just like so. Again, making sure that it's laying flat. It, the jelly string likes to twist. Once you've got it flattened out, you're going to take your string and go through the top hole from the front. Pull it all the way through, nice and tight. Making sure it's laying flat. All right, now at this part, we're going to start our top and sides um, binding, making sure that we still have about four inches at the bottom. All right, now if you're having trouble so keeping your string in place and your pages nice and neat, you can use a couple of paper clips to um, keep the top and sides together. Or if you have a little binder clip, you can also use that to help keep your um, string at the bottom in place until we're ready to knot it. Not necessary, but helpful sometimes. All right. You're going to take your loose string at the top, bring it down from the top, into the top hole from the front, pushing it through to the back. Again, always making sure that the jelly string is lying flat. Now your string should be at the back of your project. You're going to bring it around to the front, through the front of the same top hole again, 
and pull out from the back. Again, making sure that it's lying nice and flat. You have your top corner sewn and bound. All right, you can flip your project over at this point, and we're going to move down to the second from top hole, bringing it through the back to the front. Again, making sure the string is lying flat. Flip your notebook over. Your string should be in the front of your project. Everything should be nice and flat. And you're going to bring your string out and around again to bind the side. And it's going to push in from the back through that second hole again to the front. Nice and neat, nice and flat. Everything's all tight. You're going to bring your string down to the second from bottom hole, coming in from the front, pushing through to the back, checking to make sure it's not twisted. All right. Again, bringing it around from the back to the front, pushing through the front hole, out the back. Everything's nice and tight. You can flip your notebook over. You'll come down to the last hole, the last part that needs to be bound. Bring it out to the front, making sure that's nice and flat and everything's tight. You can flip it over at this point. All right, almost done. Everything is nicely bound. We're going to bring it one more time through the back to the front so that everything is uh, evenly matched. All right, we're almost done. At this point, you can remove your paper clips and binder clips if you used it. And you're ready to tie off your knots. If you're not going to add beads, all you need to do is knot your two strings down at the bottom. Because the jelly string likes to come loose, I would recommend doing at least two granny knots or square knots. Um, to keep things in place, it likes to get nice and tight. You're going to want to make sure that you don't tie it too close to the edge of the paper so that you are able to turn your pages. Make sure that jelly string is knotted tightly because it likes to slip loose. Like that. Good. Now, if you uh, see, everything is neatly bound, both front and back, evenly. Same in size, and you can turn and open your pages. All right. If at this point you don't want to add beads, you can trim your jelly string just below the knot, and everything will look nice and neat, as uh, with my example in this first one. Now, if you want to add beads, decide what order you want them to go into. I wanted to alternate my yellow and blue on one side and then have blue and yellow on the other. So because the pony beads have a really wide opening, I'm going to need to make my knot tie it probably three times. See, it might still fit th through there, so I'm going to add a third knot, like so. And then when I'm sure everything's secure, I can trim the edge of that string, like that. Now, if I wanted to, I could use this other longer string to make a bookmark. 
So I'm going to add my other beads in the opposite order. So I'm going to start with blue and then yellow. And then I'm going to measure to make sure I have it long enough to make a bookmark. And I'm going to knot it there. This is nice to have. It's not really necessary since this is just a short 10-page notebook. But uh, if you were making one of your own at home that had a lot more pages in it, it might be nice to have and bookmark that as part of the book. So knotting it three times again, nice and tight. Then I can trim off the excess, throw that away. And then I have my longer beaded bookmark. Now you can make these of your own. You can uh, use any kind of paper. You can use watercolor paper. I just used printer paper here because it was easy to uh, find. And this is just colorful um, scrapbooking paper. You could use cardstock. You could use cardboard. Uh, this really works with any number of different materials. Uh, you don't have to use jelly string. You could use um, any kind of string that you can find or twine might give it a nice rustic look. Uh, most book binding, when you do it as a craft, they use um, linen string that has been waxed. So I hope you enjoyed today's craft. And we got to see two different types of notebooks being made with and without beaded bookmarks. And I hope you will join me next week when we are going to be painting some pretty flower pots. Until then, we'll see you next time, tweens. Bye-bye.